Hey boys, it's Harm None. Today we're going to be customizing the original Pagasi Terrero in Grand Theft Auto Online. Uh, it's been a very long time since I've customized this car. I think the last time I did it was in like April of 2021. So it's been a while and I saw it come up in Simeon's dealership this week and I was like, man, it's 30% off. I should probably customize it again. So we're running it back and uh, we're going to see what we can do with the good old fashioned Pegasi Terrero. So let's go ahead and get started with the armor. We're going to go all the way up on that, the brakes as well, of course. Uh, we'll do the engine as well, just to get it out of the way. And then we'll also go ahead and do the transmission as well as the turbo, just so we have all the performance stuff out of the way, other than suspension and uh, the spoiler options and whatnot. Uh, but we got to go ahead and get started with the bumpers. So uh, for the front bumper, we can go for the long smooth bumper or the long vented bumper. I think that I do want to go for the long vented because it just looks a little more aggressive and fills out the front end of the car just a little bit better. So I do like that. Let's go ahead and do it. For the rear of the car, we got the big diffuser, we got the low diffuser and the mud flaps and low diffuser. Definitely not a huge fan of the mud flaps or really the low diffuser. I think that the big diffuser kind of looks the best on here. So I think that I'm gonna go for that. Although this one technically would add a lot more weight to the rear end of the car, especially at the bottom down low. So it would maybe make it handle a little bit better because all those modifications do actually very slightly affect how cars handle. Uh, but I can't really get behind the mud flaps. I hate mud flaps. So I think that I'm just gonna go for the big diffuser. Matter of fact, you know what, actually, uh, no, it's gotta be the big diffuser. I don't know. I was gonna say, let's go for the low, but I don't think I can do it. All right, and for the headlight covers, we got the masked lights, we got the primary masked. We also have the headlight duct on the one side. That's kind of cool. And then we have the cover plates as well. Um, I'm gonna leave it stock, I think, because none of these really look like awesome to me, if I'm being honest. So uh, we'll just leave that alone. Now for the back panel, we can go for a black panel can also go for a mask panel I don't know who's picking these options who the hell who who designed this I don't know I mean I feel like it's it's like kind of cool I guess if that's what you want but like who wants that to be honest so uh, we could go for the vented panel I do kind of like that I feel like it makes it a little more complicated and it also removes the plate entirely this might be like one of very few cars that you can have no plate on that's kind of sick actually I kind of really like that, but at the same time, I, I think that I just do want the black panel, to be honest. I feel like it just kind of makes more sense. And I don't mind having a rear plate, at least, you know, it's not too bad. Um, now, of course, we do have the engine cover that we can do here as well. Now, we can go for the louvers cover, the vented cover, the smooth cover. Oh, man, that's ugly. Oh, man, that's ugly. Okay, we got the cutout cover and we got the dual scoop. The dual scoop is kind of interesting. You know what's really kind of strange about this car? Uh, the Lampadati Viserys has the exact same uh, rear engine cover option here with the dual scoop. And then uh, this one just makes this thing look like a Stromberg from the back. It's just kind of funny how it's like, it's so similar to like two other cars from this sort of era as well. Um, as far as, yeah, uh, I'm gonna leave it stock. I, I can't, I can't do any of these options to be honest. Like the only one that I'm close to saying like maybe to is the vented cover, but honestly, I feel like it looks cooler to have the exposed engine there. So we're gonna leave that alone. Uh, for the exhaust, we got the painted exhaust, we got the chrome exhaust, and the oval exhaust. Let's go for let's go for the chrome exhaust. I feel like it's the best looking out of those, so we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, now we have the vented hood, we have the carbon hood, the carbon vented hood, and of course the front spoiler. Uh, definitely not the front spoiler. That is kind of hilarious that that is a thing. Definitely not going for it. Uh, I think I will go for the vented hood. I think this is just kind of memeing on the Countach that it had a bunch of arrow that just didn't work. It just didn't matter and did not need to be there. I, I think that's kind of what they're going for there. Uh, Xenon for the lights doesn't really change much, to be honest. They stay like the same color. Like maybe ever so slightly different, but yeah, we'll go Xenon. I'm also gonna put the Neon on because God knows this car needs a, uh, a bit of help in the handling department. So that'll lower the center of gravity ever so slightly and hopefully make it just a little tiny bit better. Uh, for the plate, I'm gonna go yellow on black, I think. And then for the respray of the car, I actually just watched the Lamborghini uh, movie, which Loki was not 
that awesome. Um, but in the movie, they had like a Countach and it was in like a, so I want to say it was a racing blue and it looked really good. And I kind of want to go for that today. So I think I'm going to pick a racing blue. And then I will do a pearl lesson on it though. And I think that I will do something to brighten it up just a little bit. I was thinking a diamond blue, but I think that's a little too bright. So I'm kind of thinking about maybe a silver. I feel like that looks pretty good. I feel like that's pretty era fitting. I, I kind of like it. I feel like it looks nice. Uh, next up, we got the spoiler option. Of course, we got the lip spoiler. We got the small spoiler. We got the curved spoiler. We got the classic spoiler, the high downforce spoiler, and the classic and lip spoiler. I low-key feel like this is a little bit closer to the actual Countach spoiler than this one, but it, it probably isn't. I think I'm gonna go for the classic and the lip spoiler because I just like the extra arrow there on the back. I feel like the ducktail looks kind of nice, so we'll go ahead and uh, throw that on the car. For the suspension, I, I will lower it all the way down as well because it, it needs it. It really needs it, so uh, we'll do that. Uh, now, for the wheels on this thing, I definitely don't want to go too high-end uh, because I feel like having like huge wheels, like for example, uh, and very low profile kind of doesn't really work for this car. Although I do feel like the wheels are very undersized on this vehicle. So it could, you know, it could be done. It could not be done. Uh, it's it's kind of it's kind of whatever for me. What else do we have? Do we we have stuff in the track category here? Hang on, the track category could be kind of good, except these are a lot. Um, a lot lower profile uh but with that being said the tropos look awesome and i'm going for them i i yep tropos that's right uh wheel color do i do them in black do i do them in a different color um, let's see i think i'm gonna have to just go black I, I know it's boring but let's do it let's do bulletproof tires um and then for the windows i'll do i'll do a dark smoke on here and that's it honestly I feel like it's looking really good. I'm actually pretty impressed with this. This is definitely, I think, better than my last build of the uh, of the Torero that I did. So now, of course, uh, that we're done the customization, it is time to do a sound test. And then, of course, it is time to get into the review of the car. So let's go ahead and take a listen here. does not sound bad actually this thing actually sounds quite good um it sounds better than i feel like some of the more modern pagassis it's got a little more rasp to it i feel like i don't mind it i definitely don't mind it so yeah that's that's a welcome uh that's a welcome sound for this vehicle to have now oh my god i <laughs> yeah the old torero okay all right yeah it's it definitely handles uh how you would expect. I've heard many, many stories about people being so excited about the Countach and having it on, you know, their, their bedroom wall, you know, poster car and everything like that. And then they actually got to drive a Countach and they were extremely disappointed. And I think the Rockstar, yeah. I think that Rockstar kind of nailed that with the Torero in GTA, which is unfortunate because it is a video game. So they could have taken the liberty and kind of made it like, you know, good, uh, but, it's very challenging to drive this car. Uh, it, it has so much weight towards the rear end of the car and it kind of looks like it does too. I mean, it, if you look at this car from the side, right? The back end of it is so huge, so wide, just bulbous. And it handles like it, you know? It, it handles like it is super heavy over the back end. It handles like it's just not tuned at all. Like the suspension isn't tuned. Nobody like did anything. It's just like, oh yeah, throw it on there and like, you know, we'll deal with it later. It's kind of how it feels. And the Countach, don't get me wrong, is an awesome car, but I have heard many, many people say that uh, the Countach was a huge disappointment when they actually got to drive one because it looks so cool and it was so futuristic and just so neat for the time. And then it was just a big disappointment, which it's so unfortunate, but I think that that is just the truth with the Countach. Not to say that it's not a cool car, it's definitely something that, uh, you know, you would probably rather have as a car in your collection and just have it, you know, post it up in the garage and don't drive it. Because I think that's, I think that's kind of how the Countach is best, uh, best had, you know, best suited for having it, um, is not to actually drive it. I feel like it's just not really a great driver's car, but maybe that's just me. I'm sure there's going to be some of you who are going to disagree with me in the comments. I 
bet that you probably haven't driven a Countach as well, but uh, you know, who knows, right? I would say that in game, uh, the Torero, it, it handles like shit, it's terrible. Uh, the acceleration though I will say is not that bad for you know a sports classic vehicle and I want to say the top speed on this car is like pretty decent I think it's in the 120s uh, which not bad like for a sports classic could be worse for sure uh, but the glaring issue is the handling of this vehicle and there's a cyclist back here so hang on but yeah the, the glaring issue of this vehicle is of course the handling um, similar to real life like I've you know said a few times here um, I, I definitely would say if you are going to buy this car, do not expect it to be good. You know, do not expect it to handle well. It's it's just not going to handle well, and and you're going to be disappointed if that's what you're looking for in this car. If you're looking for a great handling vehicle, um, the Torero is not is not the one to buy this week. So yeah, if you're planning on buying this thing, take it with a grain of salt. It's it's not as good as it might seem like it is. Uh, it is 30% off this week when I'm reviewing it, so you know that is a plus for sure. If you are going to buy it, you, you might as well save some money. Uh, but if you're watching this when it's at full price, I would say maybe try to wait for it to you know be you know a sale vehicle. I don't actually think you can even buy it anymore on the website. And I also just noticed the brakes are shit. They're so bad that took forever to stop. Uh, I guess in the sports classic category, it's not you know too awful. Uh, but let me just make sure that the Torero is not available to be bought. It's not. It is definitely removed. So that is unfortunate. Um, but yeah, if you're going to buy it, buy it when it's discounted, I, I would say. I don't know. It's it's probably not a vehicle you're going to want to pay full price for. And honestly, the only way you're going to be able to get it is either from another player or through one of the dealerships, it seems like. So there you have it, guys. Uh, that's it for the Pagasi Torero customization and review in Grand Theft Auto Online. If you guys enjoyed this video, if you learned something, a like is of course appreciated, if not dislike. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, and I will see you all in the next video. Until then, take care. Peace.